Thank you for watching this video on ATS's Authorize.net Custom Payment Gateway for IMIS, developed by Association Technology Solutions. The people who would be interested in this customization are those that are familiar with the cost savings benefit of using Authorize.net for credit card processing as opposed to PayPal. By default, IMIS is configured to use PayPal for credit card processing transactions, and each transaction usually results in a transaction fee. Authorized.net transaction fees are generally lower than PayPal's, but in order to reap the benefits of this, you will need to install a custom payment gateway like the one we've developed for Authorized.net. The features of this customization are as follows. Once installed, this customization allows you to use Authorize.net for credit card transactions and we've already discussed the cost savings of doing so. All IMAS functionality works exactly as you would expect with the exception of credit card transactions being processed by Authorize.net as opposed to PayPal. All IMAS payments will be able to be processed using Authorize.net, including payments made in RISE and or public views, as well as payments made through IMAS Desktop. Configuring and setting up the custom payment gateway is fourfold. First, ATS's web services will need to be installed on your network. This will be done for you by ATS staff, and at this time the necessary files for the custom gateway will also be added to your server. Second, you will need to update your IMIS configuration to include a new CCAuth account containing the transaction key and user ID which Authorize.net will provide to you. Then you will need to update your existing cash account or set up new ones to use the new CCAuth account for credit card processing. Third, all IMIS websites, RISE or public views, in which credit card payments will be made, will need to have their web.config file updated to use the new payment gateway. This is a very simple process and you will be provided with instructions on how to do this. Lastly, you will need to install a custom control on each client machine that will be using IMIS Desktop to process credit cards. You will be provided a batch file that will do this for you, and you will simply need to run that batch file on each client machine. ATS's Authorize.net Custom Payment Gateway also supports Address Verification, or AVS. AVS is the process of sending to the gateway the individual's address along with standard credit card data to verify this address against the billing address on record for the credit card being charged. This adds an extra layer of security and including this information on each credit card transaction usually results in a reduction of the transaction fees charged by Authorize.net. Of course, if you decide not to enable AVS on your payment gateway, this feature can be turned off. For payments made online, the shipping address will be sent to the gateway to verify AVS, which is the default functionality of IMIS. For payments made through IMIS Desktop, you are able to configure which address you want to send, the preferred mailing, billing, or shipping address. Using AVS for IMIS Desktop transactions is not standard IMIS functionality and currently can only be achieved using a custom gateway such as the one we've developed. The ATS Authorize.net Custom Payment Gateway is compatible with IMIS versions 15 and 20. The Custom Gateway will work with payments taken through IMIS Desktop, Public View Checkout pages, RISE or iPart Checkout, and even third-party solutions such as ATS's online marketplace. To request additional information regarding the Authorize.net Custom Payment Gateway, please email us at info at atsol.org or call us at 720-945-7252. Once again, thanks for watching.